user roles and how to use it. So in ISHRM, when you want to give privileges to a user, you can do it by changing the user level of that user, or you can do it by using user roles. So let's first look at user level. So in ISHRM, we have four default user levels. We have the admin, employee, manager, and other. So first of all, the admin user or the users has all the privileges and they can do the configurations or they can alter the configurations of the system. The manager cannot actually do any configuration changes, but they can do things like approving user leaves and uh, they can monitor attendance, they can alter attendance entries for a user, they can approve training request, travel request, expense, and uh, a lot of these kind of things. A user with a user level of employee can do things like applying for a leave and they can perform the day to day uh, normal activities that an employee should be doing. Right, so there's another user level as you have seen called other so this user 3 as we have set the user level of user 3 to other when you are using this user level for an example let's think about uh, a user from a third party company who only wants to log into your system to just to generate a report in that case you can select this user level and you can add more user roles to that user so here in this case i have added the report manager user role so if you go to the other tab you can define new user roles and you can have these user roles added to the existing users right now let's say i want only give this user permission to go into the reports module so First of all, I'm setting this default module as the admin reports and uh, I'm going to save it. Okay, we cannot set this as the default module. So the so it says this user all doesn't have access to this module so what can we do here we can just go back and uh, we can go to the uh, system manage modules and from there i look for the reports module where it is and the module is enabled these user levels are allowed to access this module and i'm going to add this new report manager user level also here add it and save it so now i am going back to the users there i'm going to set the default module to the reports reports so maybe you you might be thinking why this is called reports report so it's actually we have the main menu as reports and also the sub menu as report so just to identify the uh, module properly we are using both the parent name and the child name for the module path right so i'm going to save this now and uh, i'm going to log in as this user let's see Okay, as you can see now, this new user only have access to the reports module. 